Hello and welcome to this new video with me. My name is Maximilian and Transport World Simulator. Today we are going to take a British Rail Class 55 Deltic from London King's Cross up the East Coast Main Line or down rather since the down line is always the one that leads away from London and the up line is the one towards London. Except for when you are in Scotland then if I remember correctly, the down lines are away from Edinburgh and the up lines towards Edinburgh. Which is really funny since that means that the East Coast main line, the down line, changes to the up line as soon as you cross the Anglo-Scottish border and the other way around in the other direction, obviously. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's get the show on the rails and enter our train. Inside. London King's Cross. Yeah, that was the AWS. So then, let's get this started. Battery activated. And I'll tell you more about Forward. the Delphi as a train as soon as this thing. activated. Brakes released. Engine activated. Now I'm pretty sure you could hear that this train has two engines. And that's right, actually. The Deltics are named Deltics because of their power plants. They use the Napier Deltic marine engine, which has, if I remember correctly, nine cylinders in a triangle formation. To be honest, I'm not sure right now. It's an opposite piston engine that runs at a, at a rather high RPM rate, so yeah, that's why they sound a bit odd compared to literally any other diesel engine. Except for the baby deltics, but we don't talk about those. Because they were a disaster, as almost every diesel engine during the modernization plan of British Rail in the late 50s and early 60s, but uh, yeah. <laughs> The Deltics were some of the good ones, funnily enough. Don't know how that worked out, but it happened. Probably because they have been built by English Electric and they were basically the only ones that seemed like they at least knew a bit of what they were doing. So... Yeah, I mean they were better than NBL, which isn't that difficult. <laughs> Okay, so... 11, 29, 59. 11, 30, 0. Oh, we are not to the already. Close. Nice. Forward. Then... Let's go. The speed limit is 35 miles per hour. Next signal, red. The acceleration is just... extreme with this thing. So, 35. That's what's done. Passing through the Gasworks Tunnel. Yeah, we've just left King's Cross. Our first stop is Stevenage in some 48,000 yards. I'm not sure if we'll actually go that far. Well, I mean, we'll go at least until Stevenage, but I'm not sure if we'll go any further since the video would become really long. But yeah, we'll see. Fifty miles per hour. I'm driving completely manual, actually, right now. I'm not using the automatic speed control. You can enjoy driving this engine manually. Besides, there are no real gradients here. So, it's pretty easy. 
Well, I managed to get the snow bank, I think, today, but, yeah. Yeah, 60. I'm waiting until I suspect that the whole train has passed this point, which should be sometime around now. And now we only need step 4 of 8, because, well, duh. <laughs> Speed limit change to 100 miles per hour in 8404 yards ahead. Nice. Yeah, th this engine has a total power output of, if I remember correctly, 3200 horsepower or something. Both engines combined, obviously. And when it was introduced in the early 60s, it was the strongest diesel engine in the world with only one body shop. So. It was insane. <laughs> I mean, it was stronger than EMD's E, F, or GP units from America, so yeah. It's a six axle locomotive. So. They are not that unusual for the UK, actually. They had many six-axle designs compared to other European countries. Because in Austria, most diesel engines, for example, are four-axle locomotives. The Next same green. is true for Germany and many other European nations. But for some reason, the UK Next green. loved their six-axle designs. Oh, and eight-axle designs. Yeah, that also happened. Not with the Delta so, so, yeah. <laughs> we are on a bit of a downward grade here, so I have to keep an eye on the speedometer. Outside, back, buffers, in front of a train. Yeah, we are hauling a rake of Mark 1 coaches. 61. Next signal, green. 61. You're wondering signal, because green. of the lag that seems to happen. That's because of OBS, so normally that doesn't happen. Speed limit change to 100 miles per hour in 42.98 yards ahead. <clears throat> okay, so we'll be able to accelerate pretty soon. Next signal, green. Yeah, that's nice. You can always hear the AWS ringing in the background. <clears throat> yeah, now. <laughs> if we ever hear the AWS horn, then we have kind of a really big problem. Because then the next signal is not green, which I personally wouldn't particularly like, but yeah, we'll see. One hundred. Nice, we have a score of 100, so we... I haven't actually traveled too fast until now. Windows open. Windows closed. Ventilation activated. Next signal, green. Next signal, green.
I just tested the windscreen wipers. What's the weather like? The current temperature is 12 degrees Celsius. It is cloudy. The highest temperature is 15 degrees Celsius. The lowest temperature is 12 degrees Celsius. The current wind speed is 12 miles per hour in the opposite direction to the direction of travel. Okay, so might actually start raining on this run. So, we should soon be allowed to accelerate to 100 miles per hour. Speed will change to 100 miles per hour in 480 yards ahead. Yeah. Nice. This engine the can do miles per hour. something around 100 and. 40 mi no 117 miles per hour or something Next signal, green. No, I don't think the carriages can do such high speeds though, so we'll see how high it gets today Not Next sure signal, green. Nice Expect the next signal, signal. Yellow and 30, yards. Ah. Damn, it's yellow Next signal, <coughs> yellow and 30, 57 yards. See how long it stays yellow Won't accelerate though until we know for sure Four Obvious reasons. Next signal, green in twenty-seven fifty-four yards. Oh, nice. So now I can accelerate Back up to one hundred. Outside. Next signal, green 1159 yards. I just have to keep an eye on the signal since we're now traveling along the lines with up to 100 miles per hour, which is way too fast to be able to stop in a distance of less than 200 yards if the game suddenly decides to tell us that the next signal is red. Next signal, so, yeah, that's why I have to check the signals. Next signal, green. Next signal, yellow in 1380 yards. Oh, damn. That doesn't look good. Next signal, green in 1140 yards. Okay. Outside. Back. Buffers. In front of a train. Next signal. Green. Next signal. Yellow and 24, 27 yards. Next signal. Yellow and 22, 56 yards. Like the, southern. the speed limit is 125 miles per hour. Inside. Next signal. Yellow in 1979 yards. Um, that signal's yellow and I suspect it'll stay yellow. Next signal. Yellow in 1771 yards. Next signal, yellow in 1441 yards. I have to slow because I have to expect the signal after that one to be red. Next signal, yellow in 1188 yards. Oh, what? No. I uh, don't have to slow actually. We only have to slow on passing the yellow signal. Yeah, great that I remembered that now. <laughs> Next signal, green in 761 yards. Oh, nice one. <laughs> Okay, so 125 miles per hour. We'll see how high we can, how fast we can go actually today. Because I don't know 
how fast the Mark 1 cars can go. To be honest. Next to green. Yeah, okay. Nice. Great though, it's like next green. green. Yeah, I know. Next signal, green in 36.05 yards. Oh, nice one. The next uh, one's also green. Yeah, of course, because of the 125 speed limit, since we literally can't catch any train that's going that fast. We have no chance. <laughs> Next signal, green in 24.07 yards. Yeah, okay, that'll stay green. Since signals don't suddenly decide to show a restrictive aspect, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh, what a spa. Was the site of a pretty horrific rail crash. In the early 2000s. Because rail track couldn't be bothered to actually maintain the lines. Which is a horrific thought, actually. Kind of. But they aren't around anymore. Nowadays, the company is called Network Rail, and as far as I know, they're doing pretty Next well. Signal, green. Next signal, green. And you can hear how fast we're getting. And the two bells from the TPWS or. No, AWS on this engine are still at the same distance from each other, but yeah, they are really close together, acoustically speaking. Uh, 114, and soon we'll have reached the top speed, I suspect, of 117. We'll go 118? Not sure. Yeah, 117. That's the fastest I've ever gone with an, with a diesel engine in TWS, actually. Outside, back, buffers, in front of a train. Next signal, green. Next signal, green. inside they didn't hit such high speeds in regular service though that was only done on a test run actually but i thought since they could do it why shouldn't they be able to do so in tws so yeah that's why they are able to hit 117 miles per hour Which is, if I remember correctly, 188 kilometers per hour or something. So, really fast. <laughs> at least compared to the other diesels that were around at that time, which usually had a top speed of a maximum of like 90 miles per hour or something. Or 75 in many cases. Some cases even 60. Or the class 08s. 15 to 20 miles per hour, but they were shunters, so that was fine. They actually built 996 of the 08s. Compared to... Was this 22, 23 Deltics plus one prototype? That's a lot. <laughs> but the 08s were good. They were really good engines, so I totally get why they did that. One hundred and seventeen miles per hour. Had I taken an LNR Azuma up here, we would be able to go a bit faster, but yeah, one hundred and seventeen or one twenty-five doesn't make much of a difference. I mean we are currently traveling with an Azuma schedule, so we'll see if we can keep up to this schedule until Stevenage. Uh, I'm not sure. Next signal, green. 11, 46, 39. 11, 52, 0. Uh, Next signal, green. No, we're probably not going to match that. Who knows? I mean, the acceleration's insane, so maybe we can. 
they actually legitimately accelerate faster than an Azuma, so yeah. Oh, by the way, we are not supposed to go that fast. The Deltics officially only were allowed to go some 100 miles per hour or something, so... Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? I don't care. I mean, they could do it, so why shouldn't they? Seriously. So, 15,000 yards, or some 14, 14 kilometers till... 14, yards ahead. Stevenage. Yeah, it's Stevenage. That would have been embarrassing otherwise. <laughs> so we'll have to slow down. A few minutes. current temperature is 12 degrees Celsius, it is sunny, the hottest temperature is 15 degrees Celsius, the lowest temperature is 12 degrees Celsius, the current wind speed is 11 miles per hour in the opposite direction to the direction of travel. Next signal, yellow. Oh damn. Next signal, yellow. I'm expecting a red signal now. Next signal, red in 2668 yards. Next signal, yellow in 2245 yards. Oh, yellow. So we can accelerate again. I know that in reality, train drivers can't see that far, but I don't care. I probably won't be able to go up to 117 again, since we only have some 11,000 yards left. To Stevenage, so yeah, not that much. Six miles, ten kilometers. Next signal, green in 745 yards. Okay, the signal is green, so the next one's yellow, and then the one after Stevenage might be red, but we can ignore that for next signal, green. obvious reasons. I mean, we have to stop before that anyway, so yeah. Next signal, green. Next signal, yellow in 7444 yards. Yeah, the next one's yellow, and that's the one in front of Stevenage. So, yeah. We can go faster. Passing through Welling Garden City. The female voice in the middle of the stereo grid always announces the names of bridges and tunnels, by the way. The one to your left announces the current speed, and the male voice is the general sep 5 output. And then there's me, obviously. <laughs> okay, so maybe we'll actually hit 117 again. But the engine's really working hard. <laughs> so now it'll shut off. Yeah. There we go. 117 miles per hour again. 11, 51, 12. Oh, by the way, we can't keep to the schedule. But that's not surprising, to be honest. It's tight even when taking in the Zuma, so yeah. Next signal, yellow in twenty three eighty four yards. Okay, so I assume we'll have to start slowing down soon, only four thousand two hundred yards left. So Stevenage. There's a signal before well in north I guess. 
on the throw. And then we'll see if we'll continue on to Peterborough or not. I'm not sure yet. Okay, I'm really not sure if I should start, just start slowing down or if I should wait for the game to actually Next catch up. Green. Since we only have some 2,000-ish yards left. Okay, now I'll slow down. 1,500 yards, that's way too short, I think. I'm not sure, maybe the Delta will surprise me again. As it did with its pretty insane acceleration. Yeah, yeah, it will surprise me again. Thought so. Still some 500 yards left and we have already decelerated by about 88 kilometers per hour. So, yeah, we could have just waited for the game. Pretty much. Next signal, yellow. That was the AWS. Yeah, of course it is. I already said that. Open. 11.54.3. 11.52.0. Two minutes late. Not bad. <laughs> Outside. Doors closed. Yeah. Anyway. I think that that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about the game or just want to see other videos and listen to recordings then you can join my patreon server or patreon page rather yeah i think it's called a page or my discord server links can be found in the description below and yeah looking forward to hearing what you thought about this video and if you enjoyed it please like and subscri subscribe it really helps actually so yeah see you soon and now we can listen to the deltic depart Next signal, green.